bug repellent. Let's do this. No. Ah! There's a rock golem. Okay, welcome back to Ark. And today, I think I'm gonna go and try and tame up a mantis. Um, I do believe there's a 150 way, 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 way out this way. Hopefully, it's still there. Um, how do I put this? It's in the desert area, but not in the desert area. It's in the little uh here. I can pull up my map. Okay. Uh, what is it? The lowest uh portion there, where like, what is it? In between, let's go with 70, 60. That exact point, like for lat 70, latitude, or longitude 60. Right in that area, there's a little desert where bugs can spawn. I believe there's a 150 there. There might not be any more, but doesn't mean I can't fly over and check. Alright, so this here is the little desert I was talking about. And I already see some mantises running around. Okay. What are you? You're level 15. Um, let's do this so that way I don't have to worry about you at all. Let me get rid of you. Okay. Now, one of you, hopefully, yes, you're the 150. That is the 150 I'm looking for. So, now we got to start cleaning house. We're going to just kill off all these terror birds now. Okay, um, I also do got a full set of ghillie and some bug repellent and cactus uh, broth here for once this is all clear. Like uh, so. So now that that's clear for us to land, I'm going to let him get that bug and now I'm going to get all set up here. Okay, full set of ghillie is on. Cactus broth, bug repellent. Let's do this. No. Ah! There's a rock golem. I'm also sorry, I just screamed right into the mic. That was uh, not intentional. I am sorry. I honest to God thought I got grabbed by a death worm. That is honestly what I thought. It's like a death worm just popped up out of the ground and yoinked me. Oh, I really hope a death worm can't spawn in this area because they can one shot me. A death worm could do uh, a sneak attack and come up from underneath and eat me. Now, that death, that right there is a good sign. We got him going. Now, let's get this. Going. Why is that death worm still there? I want it gone. That death worm has been there the last three times I've logged in. Okay, it's been a hot minute. I think I'm going to go in for another feed now. I think it should be time. Back up slowly. Okay, we're good. It's still waiting on a feed. Uh, okay. I don't. How long do I have to wait? wait for you to starve? Because now you're nearly down 200. Okay. You're going to eat that Lystro. That's what you're going to do. Did not expect it to be like this. Um, I might even do like mantises for the caves. That is also an option. We can mantis the cave. We can breed these guys up. Hopefully. It should be fairly easy. Seeing so we do got death worms. Oh my god. No, I don't think I could get one of the death worms in the cave. I might try and get the death worms into the boss arena though. That'd be an interesting thing. Bring in like four death worms. And so I can breed them. And there we go. That is a mantis. That is perfect. Hey, where are you going? That is awesome. You look good. You came out with greens. You know what? though i really want to get one with white and pink on it um let me see what colors can naturally spawn on these guys because i might hunt one for white and pink the closest i could get is like a gray and red 
That's the closest I could get to pink and white on these mantises, naturally. But I could throw them in the event colors. And that's hoping that we get one that spawns with those colors. So we're going to run here, seeing how this is pretty short, and look for one more mantis here real quick. A lot of them do spawn out in the desert, but there are like uh, death rooms and all that that I have to worry about. So hopefully we'll all be okay. Okay, we got the mantis I've been looking for right here. Already cleaned out all the guys nearby. And I still have a little bit of time left on my thing. So hopefully I don't have to pop anymore. But this guy is high in the stamina and high in the melee. Which hopefully they both hit 40. But if at least one of them does, that should be awesome. Okay, it is last 30 seconds on this stuff. Let's see if he's hungry. Yep, he was hungry. Right, what did you finish out at? Oh, that is perfect. That is finished us off. That's finished. That means we do not actually have to look for a third for stamina or melee. We got them all. Oh, I also just realized, like, they're so tiny. They look like human thickness up top. They're about the size of a... They're like a... They look like a centaur to me for a second. I was going to say, look, a bug centaur. Also, I'm, like, way out here. I think this is a cave. Is that the cave? Yeah, that's one of the caves. Oh, I can't believe I was all the way out here. Man, I have to fly all the way back to my base now. That is the hard part. Okay, landing. There's a rock golem down here. So, technically, I could go rock golems here one of these episodes. And they are breedable. So, but they're like, was it? They, they're like mammal breedable. You know what I wish they were, though? So, just hear me out on this. Like, say they, they reproduce, like, uh, the good Dora, I believe, from Legend of Zelda. Where, more or less, eventually, they get so big, a rock falls off of them. And that rock starts turning into uh, another good Dora, or a rock elemental. I also know I'm, like, like saying their name horrifically wrong. But, like, they're the rock people from Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Uh, and, was it Tears of the Kingdom? They live up in the volcano biome. That is the spicy zone. They need some heat protection. So you do I do realize that Scorched Earth is smaller than the island a bit. Or they're about the same size. But I feel like this this bitch This place is larger. Alright, honestly, I feel like it's larger. Cause I've been going for a little bit and now. Just on the other side of this mountain, I can see Blue Orb. Alright? I've been going since... What is it? It was like 9 o'clock this morning when I came to the first one. It was like... It was only like 40 minutes till... No, not even, not even 40 minutes. I'd only say like 20 minutes till I found the second one. Wait, no, it wasn't even 20 minutes. It was only about 5. Because I still have my buff going. What am I... I'm like... Well, it was 20 minutes for me because I did have to walk off. But yeah, no, it, like actually in game, if I kept going, it only would take me five minutes. But we're here. We're almost here to blue up. And here we are. Let's get these guys out. I do believe I will have to gender swap them. Am I? Am I going to have to gender swap them? Yep. May as well not waste a lot of element we can finish off the morale tops right now so these guys would be done and i don't have to worry about them do, 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 do. red you stay you stay over there with the death claws now i gotta make sure everything is out of the range that i don't want changed okay morale tops mantis perfect swapping Perfect. Now we should be good. Um, I think I might go for the thorny dragons next. That's going to probably be another episode. I've also been thinking, like, how am I going to tame vultures? I'm not going to dedicate an entire video to looking for vultures. Or I might. You never know. That's the twist. I'm probably not. I might, like, actually just do vultures and, uh some other creature together but i'm like running out of creatures to do them with 
I think like left is like thorny dragons and then it's scorched variants and vultures. But anyways, that's gonna probably be it for this episode. So yeah. If you guys liked it, please do leave a like and subscribe. I also do enjoy your feedback, so please leave a comment. Or even better, come and join the Discord, where I barely check it for some reason. But I do check in every day. At some point. Just not just not at the time people comment for some reason.